The Teslong TD500 inspection camera features a 5-inch tempered glass true color IPS screen with a two-way 210-degree articulating camera probe. It is ideal for auto mechanics, plumbers, electricians, HVAC pros, and home DIY. The monitor is IPX4 weather resistant and safe to use in light rain or splash with water, while the camera probe is IP67 rated to be submergible. After opening the case, you will see the TD500 monitor with its camera probe and a USB cable. The USB cable is for downloading content and charging the monitor. All controls can be found on the handle or at the base of the screen. On the bottom left of the screen is the power button and as we move to the right, you will find buttons for OK, Up and Down, Settings and Mode. On the handle, you'll find the Photo Video button, the Ring Light button and the Articulation Wheel Control. On the left side of the monitor, you'll see a rubber door and behind that, you'll see a micro SD card slot and a USB plug for charging and downloading content. On the back of the monitor, you'll find the reset button and the speaker. The TD500 camera probe is not interchangeable, but it is available in four versions with three diameters, 0 0.15, 0 0.25, and 0 0.33 inch. The 0 0.25 inch model is available as a single or dual camera model. Care should be taken not to expose the probe to temperatures greater than 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, don't turn the articulation wheel too aggressively. Move the wheel smoothly and slowly for the best performance. Coiling the probe too tightly can also damage it. The minimum bending radius for the probe is 1.38 inches. The device should start with a long press of the power button followed by the screen logo and the ring light on the probe should turn on. Check the ring light by pressing the ring light button to cycle through three levels of brightness as well as turn it off and on. You will see some icons on the screen, including the SD card indicator and battery level in the upper left corner, the date and timestamp in the lower right corner, and in the upper left corner, you will see the mode indicator. If the battery indicator is low, you should charge the device. To take a photo, simply press the photo video button while in photo mode, and the image will be saved to the device's memory. To change to video mode, just press the mode button. Now you can record video when you press the photo video button and the time code will show on the lower left hand corner of the screen in red. In photo or video mode, you can flip the screen 180 degrees by pressing the down button. You can zoom in on the subject by pressing the up button. It will cycle through two zoom levels before returning to the original view. Press the mode button again to access the third mode, which is playback. Use the up and down buttons to step through the content saved on the device. To connect to an iOS or Android device via Wi-Fi, give the settings buttons a long press while in photo or video mode, and you will turn on the Wi-Fi signal designated by an icon on the upper right corner of the screen. Next, take your mobile device and install the app called Smart Endoscope. Open the app and press the plus sign in the upper right corner to add a new device. Scroll down to select the Wi-Fi Endoscope model TD500 and press Next Step. Go to the Wi-Fi settings on your device and select the Wi-Fi signal called Wi-Fi Monitor XXXX. Then return to the app and press Next Step. Once the app confirms you are connected to the camera, you should see the live video from the camera and also record photos and videos to your phone. If you want to move the files to a computer, there are two ways to do this. The first method is to plug the TD500 into the computer with the USB cable and locate the driver in the finder window. Note the monitor needs to be turned on to see the files on the computer. If you don't turn it on, all you will do is charge the TD500's batteries. Navigate to the DCIM folder and you will see photos and videos from the device stored there and can drag and drop them onto the computer. Another option for removing the files is to remove the micro SD card, insert it into a card reader and pull the files out of the DCIM folder. If you want to adjust the settings on your device, 
Click the Settings button to see the changes that can be made to the resolution, date stamp, and audio. Click Settings again to go to the second menu page with adjustments for the auto power off, language, date, time, Wi-Fi, format, default settings, and version information. Finally, clean the camera lens before and after each use with a soft microfiber cloth and a cotton swab to get the best image quality from your inspection camera. For stubborn stains, you can use warm water or rubbing alcohol, but don't use stronger solvents. The screen and monitor can also be wiped down to clean away dust and fingerprints with a microfiber cloth and a few drops of warm water or rubbing alcohol. Store the device in its plastic case when you aren't using it. That covers everything you need to know to use a Teslong TD500 inspection camera. If you still have more questions or are experiencing any issues with your product, please contact us via email, online chat on our website, or call us at the number shown on the screen. And thank you for purchasing your product from Teslong.